In today's video, we'll take a look at how to insert at the beginning of a linked list. Uh, in a previous video, we looked at the insertion at the end of a linked list. And I suggest you look at that video before this one, because I'm going to try to keep it short. So our, our list is empty, denoted by the root being null, right? And here we have a for loop iterating over every single element of the list. So when we run it, we're going to get all the elements here. So to start off, we have to create a function. Let's call it insert at beginning. And it's going to take in the same parameters as the previous insertion function. So just note double pointer root and a an value. So what's the process of actually adding at the beginning? Well, the first element, as you might notice, in a linked list is always the root. So to add at the beginning of a linked list is quite simply replacing the root, the root node, with the added node, right? And from there, from that added node, link the whole other nodes, basically link the previous root to it. That's what we're going to do. So first, let's create a node. Start with node pointer, again, new node. I'm going to allocate it using malloc, size of, of course, node here. Simple enough. Uh, new node dot or arrow x is going to be our value. And new node arrow x is going to be what? Well, as I said, we have to link the new, the newly added node to the previous root. So we're just going to say dereference root once, right? So this is going to be either null or uh, an actual node or an actual pointer to a node. Right, so if it's null, that means that the root is empty, but that's that's fine. That 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 just means that uh, our newly created node is uh, going to be also our last node inside our linked list, right? Because the new node arrow next is going to be null as well. And also, let's provide here a simple check so that we don't get any warnings. Return, let's say. Uh, three. So now that we have the new node, we have to think about, well, what do we do with it? So we have a node that now links to the rest of the list. But uh, inside our main here, root, if we simply call insert beginning with this, it's not going to change. We're going to still be stuck with that root, whatever that might be. So we have to replace the root uh, every single time. So we're going to have to do root equals to our new node. So that in here, whatever code is using our linked list is going to be using the new root as well. All right, so that, that, uh, that has to be done every time. Okay, so now if we try to uh, actually call this function, so say insert at the beginning, let's say, so the address of root, is the first one that we pass and then the value. Let's say uh, we want to pass the number 13. If we try to run this and take out the breakpoint, you'll notice I get 13 on the screen. So that works fine for one element. Let's see what it does if I call it multiple times with different elements. Let's say 13, 14, and 15. Right. So if I add them, you'll notice that the first element is the last one I typed. So that means that we have added, so we had added first 13. So the node with 13 was the root. And this new node got created with the number, the number 14. And it became the root while also having its next value be the previous root, which was uh, the node with 13, right? So we got the linked list 14 or 14, 13. And then when we added 15, again, 14 was the root and the new root became 15 while that node with 15 got linked to the previous root, which was, uh, which is uh, 14. That's why we got 15, 14, 13. So now we know how to add and to add at the end and at the beginning of a linked list. That's no problem. As you'll notice with inserting at the beginning of a linked list, you don't have any for loops. So this is kind of an interesting property of a linked list. Whenever you try to add at uh, the beginning of it, well, 
you have complexity one. You have no for loops, whereas with inserting at the end, you do have a, a while loop here, right? Or a for loop if you want. So this is a pretty big advantage compared to arrays where if you want to add an element at the beginning of an array, well, you have to make space for it. So you're gonna have to probably uh, either reallocate the whole array or just simply move every single element to the right. So every single one from uh, the index zero to index n, one, uh, one index over to the right so that you have space at index zero to add the newly added element. In here, you don't have to do anything. You just kind of create a node and then link it and just change the root. And that's it. You don't have to uh, do an operation that uh, depends on the size of the uh, list. In a future video, we'll take a look at how to insert elements in a uh, ordered list so that we basically order every single element inside a linked list automatically so that you don't have to care about that. And we're going to look into how you can basically add elements at any place inside the linked list because we just looked at how to add at the beginning or at the end, right? So that should cover basically everything that is to know about uh, inserting, at, inserting elements inside a linked list. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.